Whilst recently visiting Faye, a friend and workmate, I was so impressed by her courage and ability to cope with macular degeneration, I want to tell her story. She is a script writer and an actor and has featured in many of my f- short films. There are two types of macular degeneration, one they call wet and one they call dry. Despite having very impaired vision, Faye has cared for Don, her husband, who was suddenly diagnosed with an inoperable cancer. After a difficult three-month battle with cancer, Don recently died. They had been married for 62 years. This made big changes in her life. They had to pack up a lifetime of their goods and decide what she wanted to keep in a downsized dwelling. Then the big move out of the family home to separate, independent but communal housing without stairs, front and back. Um, when they diagnosed me with macular, they said that I was lucky I had the dry one. And I wondered about the lucky, but if you have the wet uh, macula, you have to have injections in your eye on a regular basis, uh, and otherwise you will go completely blind. But with the dry macula, the specialist told me that, you would, that I would never ever lose completely my sight. What, how much do you actually see? Yes, anything really close up is, is, is not good. I can look at somebody coming towards me and I can't make out any features. And if I don't say hello, they get upset. And uh, half the time they are just like great big furry blobs. But on a distance, I think I'm not too bad. But close up reading documents and things is hopeless. Although... When I was at Vision Australia the other day, I bought a new appliance. I have a book, uh, but I can't read it. I can't read it until I can get the appliance fixed up so that I can read the book, which is the story of my life with this macular degeneration. So frustrating. Buying clothes is scary for any blind person. I love second-hand stores and I have a good eye for what will suit Faye, so I visited my favourite thrift shop, Cynthia and Murray, two of the volunteers, kindly assisted. have trouble with. I could very easily put that garment on inside out. So what I've got to do is just turn it the right way around and make sure that the label is on the inside of the garment before I put it on like this. It is just so easy to go out in public with your manufacturer's label flapping in the air. I had a pair of shoes on the other night and I was wondering why my feet were so sore and I thought to myself, it just feels like I've got the shoes on the wrong foot and I had a look and I had. Dorothy has decided to make a film on this macular degeneration and she wanted Don to be in it now. Don unfortunately died on the 16th of October 2016 
but it, he was always Dorothy's best boy. And a couple of times he even acted in front of the camera for Dorothy. Shortly before his death, I encouraged a reluctant Don to be in front of the camera lens instead of being my assistant. The Garden Plot, an amusing short story, can be watched on my YouTube site, Dorothy Hartnett YouTube. Well, it's pretty hard now, isn't it? It is. We've got Aldo in prison and he can't... No. He can't dig the yard for me. I... Yeah, but they're in the yard there. Look, what are they doing? Over there. Look, they're yeah. digging it up. Well, I don't know. Did it's... you ring up and get somebody? No. You're always doing something. Rolling. Bodies? What's he talking about, bodies buried? Thanks, Dorothy, for including Don. He'd have been absolutely thrilled to know that you're still filming and still enjoying it and still doing a really, really good job. You're wonderful. Actually, I went shopping the other day. I didn't have a carer at this stage, um, and I wanted... I wanted some strawberries. I, I had a dessert in mind for dinner that night and uh, I wanted some nice strawberries. And when I got home and opened the punnet, I had cherry tomatoes. Would you believe it? And they don't work as a sweet. Another thing when you're shopping too, you do have to be very careful of looking at the labels. Um, I remember one time uh, I wanted uh, lemon cordial, I think, and uh, saw this beautiful uh, illustration of this lovely plump yellow lemon and when I got the bottle home it was cleaning detergent. There was another time when I, uh, I wanted uh, a, a card for a couple who just got engaged and uh, saw this rather nice picture on the front of what I thought was suitable for an engagement but when I got it home it was congratulations on the birth of your first baby. One time when I was making breakfast I got mixed up and put fruit juice in my coffee instead of milk. Um, I thought I might have discovered something that was really, really gourmet and unusual, but it really didn't work. I, I guess um, the best thing that I can suggest to anyone looking at this, this video is to say to you, have regular checks from your optometrist first. They'll check you for glaucoma and also for macula, and then your treatment and adjustment can take place after that. You'll find there's an enormous amount of help out there if you just make sure that you get it. Um, I'm finding now that it's progressing a little bit until I can now more or less see things in monotone or, or mainly black. Um, you'll probably get a um, card such as this from your optometrist which will give you all the details of what you've got to do to check to see if you are in the uh, running, as it were, for macular degeneration. This is the, the grid card that they use. There are lots of things that you can do to help yourself too. One of them is to use your peripheral vision just by looking, keeping the head steady and looking to the left or to the right with your eyes and then coming back to what it is that you're trying to focus on. This does help, I know. Yeah.